to fucking just drink up. It's some commercial property, bro. I was looking at Sean Lee of Sean Lee's famous story. And people just love to stand there and listen to things in these places, man. I sure do. They just stand there having a fun old time. And just an empty warehouse. Oh, do what you want with it. Well, I mean, you could event space. just do it right now. You just get a loan and do it. I don't know how much you would need for that. At least probably a hundred grand to start, I would imagine. Hmm. Need some revenue cash flow coming in there. Maybe now's the best time to do that. But honestly, you could honestly you could probably make that back real quick if you you know. That's what I was saying. I was I was in my head. I was thinking because you asked me last time if I was if I would take out a loan for like a digital store stuff, and I was like, well, I need to make sure the cash flow is coming through there easy. But with this pretty pretty dang easy to, to make sure you got cash flow coming in yeah it's been tested for decades it's yeah i like to make sure it's not in a shitty area like far away from all yeah the action event space dude give it I a cool that. name i would straight up like if i had i would like definitely budget out for like a management company to just run that bitch yeah okay you know Make sure it doesn't need to be like too nice in the beginning, you know. Maybe but like make sure it's not like super shitty. I mean, it could still just be a empty warehouse, dude. Especially in LA. You also don't need a, like a sound system or anything. You gotta be like, yo, you gotta bring your own shit. Everybody has to bring their own everything. Yeah, that does some things. Even well, stage, fucking, because that's that's I mean, the real money gonna... right there. <laughs> Because then you I expect people with budgets. System, dude. You're, no, you're going to have a, I mean, some, some organization is going to have their own sound system? Yeah, most people or most event companies that are serious have their own sound system okay. or they rent a sound system. Okay. So Convinced. We were, kinda, we were kind of doing it like some venues have their own sound system, but like they could be making more. Just a warehouse. Without it. Because they got to pay their own engineer. Yeah, that's true. Drink and you gotta shit. talk to people about it. That's the worst part. Yeah, they gotta send them fucking specs and shit. And what if it doesn't? What if they're like, oh, I don't like the sound in here. <laughs> Bring your own shit. God damn it. That's a. It's a. Yeah, the, I'm at the point of. Did you finish for our work week yet? No, I'm almost done though. I fucking spill water on it. So no, it's, no, it's still readable, but it's I'm uh, going through the audiobook, and I'll probably get grab a physical soon and kind of like write out stuff um eventually his 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 website's dope though it has all the links i was only listening to it so i didn't really see all the links and he got all those links your videos off by the way oh. uh, <laughs> i didn't know if you were like trying to fix your bra or something so i was like i'll let him be for a minute maybe he'll come back on i didn't know <laughs> then he just had a little nib slip real quick i was like oh, i'll let him i'll let him re rejuvenate that little point Imagine that, just having to worry about your nipples slipping. <laughs> god damn it. Like, the one thing that's, like, the biggest part of my body. Yeah. Like, oh, god damn it. I mean, I guess only in, like, a bikini situation. Because you have, I guess, like, you have a shirt on, I guess. Maybe, like, a hard. tank top, dude. I don't know. Sometimes yeah. I see girls, they're fucking just chilling with a tank top and their nipples just hanging off the side. That should be chilling. We are, we're all okay with that. I, I mean, like, like, let's not... It's not like, oh, right. get your shit back in there, lady. Yeah, come on. Well, like, you're what if I'm my, like, you're with my friends? Come on now. I'm hanging out in shorts, right? I'm hanging out in shorts, and I got like a, and this happened one time, you know, back on back in Tucson. There's video footage of it of me hanging out. I was in boxers though, and I had a little a, a little ball slip. Someone saw my balls. Someone's like, hey, dude, balls out. <laughs> That's real gross. Is it? Is it that much grosser than a nip slip? Little, yeah, because everybody girl. has nips. And so, yeah, it's a little more down there, you know, hairier. Oh, I'm God. Gonna... You think breastfeeding will ever just be a thing women will just do in public? I, th I feel like they will, but it'll always just be sexual. I don't think, I mean, to, like, have you ever seen just a tired mom with a cloth over herself? It's not like a super sexy thing. Oh, not, no, not that. <laughs> like some, some, some women just like fucking just lay it all out. And I'm just like, oh, tits, but also I shouldn't be looking at that. So, you know? Yeah, honestly, if there's anything like, if there's a just a hot model dude, it's like, and and plus there's a kid on there, it's probably like, oh, cool. 
It's like you, you've been to a nude beach. I ha uh, I don't think so. Or like a, a topless beach, maybe not. Topless beach, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Um, it's like the first time, especially as an American, you're like, "Oh my god, tits, dude!" And then the second, like, you go the next day, and you're like, "All right, cool." But then someone's like, "Oh, nice tits," you know. But then it's just kind of like nice tits, you know, in like a nice way, like your finger finger gun, like, "Hey, nice tits," there. Just like if someone's like, "Hey, nice abs, dude," you'd be like, "Hey, nice nice tits, lady." Awesome <laughs> rocking tits. Just good passing by. Say, hey, rock and titch there, lady. Hey, hey thank you. Rock <laughs> you can good yourself, sir. <laughs> this is what people do. You know, they go to a topless beach. Say, hey, rock and titch there. Like, hey, nice dong, dude. Nice dong. Nice penis, man. <laughs> shave it. You huh. shave, shave it often? So I can't just have a ball slipping out like I'm at a park. Quick update on the two NFTs I sold. <laughs> prematurely are now each worth eleven thousand dollars so that's nice but you bought them months ago or weeks I ago i bought them for like seven hundred dollars sold them around like two thousand i mean and then out of nowhere they just poof i knew it was gonna happen too i'm only mad that i knew it was gonna happen and i still sold that's just impatience sounds like you got a uh, letting your profits run friction in yourself I was fucking, I wanted to buy something else and I didn't like have enough money. So I was like, okay, you know what? Let me just like trade into these real quick. And it didn't end out good because the trade was bad. It does take quite a lot for me not to just rummage through NFTs that are minting right now and just buying everyone. But I think this is one thing, especially now that I'm like, all right. I'm just, I'm going to have to look at people making money off of it. I'm not really going to go and like go crazy. I don't even like, this isn't like, any, so it's like, I don't even know what it is. It's like a coin, but like, it's also an NFT, but I don't care about the NFT. I just care about the coin because, or the token or the smart contract or whatever it is, because super low supply, super low market cap. You can buy it on OpenSea? No, you can buy it on Uniswap. But it's also an NFT? I guess they have like, I guess each token has an NFT attached to it or some shit. Oh, that's cool. I don't really know. I don't really know a lot about the NFT side of the project. Like the NFTs look like shit in my opinion. They're just fucking pixels. But the fucking smart contracts are just fucking. And it's going to go higher too. These things are going to go over 100 grand. So I should probably put some more money in there. NFT? Financial advice. To this this one particular one not financial advice if you lose all your money it's your fault it's called x m o n is the one i've been watching all summer fun at least you've been you know into it as long as you know know a space a little place like can't really say much if you're watching something that's that's what that's all you gotta do watch something for a long time i was thinking like that's i kind of like i kind of like know this shit coin space like pretty well like how to look for good things and my friend told me he paid three hundred dollars to hop in some guy's discord and that's how he found safe moon on day two and i'm thinking like why don't i just fucking like i mean obviously i have no influence right now but like if i like shared my knowledge and then eventually charged people i'd be like yeah i fucking found shib on day whatever found xmon on day whatever but i sold like a dumbass and I'll be like, this is what I'm looking at now. Because I don't know. I feel like people, especially crypto people, just have money to throw at bullshit. It's not bullshit if it makes money, I guess. It can still be bullshit. It's just valuable bullshit. It's valuable bullshit. Get that shit. Get that just shit. That people will pay for it. Yeah, you can so, do that. Uh, just fucking make a, what I call a market cap map. Wherein where... You look at the market cap it is, the market cap it's going to be, and you can determine based on how much you have, how much you'll make, and if the ROI is worth it, you know. And you can kind of gauge the probability. Like I'm looking at this one right now. It's called Revest. And out of all the shit coins I've seen, this one seems like the most like like a company, like a project actually trying to do something. So how I like gauge potential gains is i look at okay this 
real companies market cap right now is about twenty million dollars, relatively low. I've seen shit coins that do nothing hit seven hundred million dollars. Sheev is like at two billion right now. Fucking Doge is at twenty, thirty something billion. So this project probably has a fairly good chance of reaching a hundred to five hundred million dollar market cap based on like everything around it with like enough hype and like enough fucking advertising you can probably get there because they can reach a hundred million in like a month it's pretty easy so i just be like okay just do some quick math at a hundred million this is how much this coin will be worth and what i did was i bought the pre-sale too so most of the activity going on on the chart right now is all profit aside from like a quick dump as soon as it opened but then it shot back up so now I'm just like, okay, so at $20 million, it's pretty it recovered easy. Recovered its dump? Yeah, when it opened at 16, dumped to 14, and then shot up to 19. So everyone in the pre sale sold. Dump. So I feel sorry for the people that like bought it for 16 and then sold at 14, thinking they were selling for a profit. How many days are like chartable? It started months? yesterday. Oh, but the, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but the pre sale has been going on for like the past week. But I was doing research this team has been like working on this thing good team the good earliest family. i saw was like june they were like making videos on it or blog posts or something Jesus so it's like okay at the very least like they have some followers so like and the worst thing ever to happen to a shit coin is that people just forget about it so you can't sell if there's no buyers and vice versa so you're going to get what's called honey pot where you're just like stuck with a bag that you can't even sell. So it's super important, I would teach in my course, to like look at the recent transactions and make sure like they're fairly recent. Like if you scroll all the way to the bottom of the first page, if it's like within like 20 minutes, I say it's fairly safe, you know? But if it says like last transaction six days ago, that's fucked, you, you know? Like who gives a shit? Just holding on to a hot potato. Solid template. Yeah. A little value investing plus research That's and the cpm on that on youtube videos would be crazy might be a, a little sticky there in youtube fucking crypto video I mean, bank I and i'll just be like yeah just hop in my discord or what, i don't even know what Discord. i don't even use discord i've never used it before it's just it's it's get on it you'll understand it in a few minutes yeah i've been using telegram telegram's cool but all the actually telegram dude you hate it <laughs> Yeah. Do you like it more than WhatsApp? Um, WhatsApp I haven't used a lot, but I think it's like a clear yeah. WhatsApp. WhatsApp just seems kind of like a little like old foreign app. I think that's the brand they have, kind of like in Tele the public. Telegram's end to end encrypted. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that yeah, is pretty cool. I but I just yeah. I don't enjoy the UI. Discord. Do I have a Discord account? Discord is a. It was. I think it was about to be acquired by Microsoft, and it didn't go through. But there's been a few articles about Discord as a company lately. It's pretty, pretty interesting company. Meant for gaming, expanded beyond just gaming. I like that model though. And you and you presented it in a very logical and rational way. That might be something that you could do differently than other people on youtube instead of sensationalizing youtube shows so i feel like most people that are talking about altcoins are going to be like what's his name in the freaking suit how, how is he is crypto space on youtube still popping is it gonna get popping when it's Bitcoin crazy 20k it's, it's, it's culty that's good yeah it's like man it's crazy bro like Everybody, <laughs> cycles, man. Everybody was just the biggest genius on earth when there was a really cool bull market. Everybody knew everything. Yeah. Stocks, options, crypto, all coins. You know, I, I'm the master of this shit, dude. And then a couple months later, it gets a little chop here. People are like, hey, where'd everybody go? Dude, I thought everybody was. Was I lost the match my dad's life savings, dude? I thought everybody was the match. Yeah, I saw a really good tweet. Uh, I would also, uh, 
advise to uh, try to start Twitter talking if you're doing crypto stuff. A little Twitter crypto. Twitter crypto is wild. Start just talking in there and see if you can grab people. Because it's uh, the Bitcoin tips. I mean, you can tip people on Twitter. Bitcoin. Just in news. Oh, you can? Yeah. Um, and you can also... Oh, there's a headline I'll probably bring up later. But they... Um, which is kind of cooler than the Bitcoin tipping is... Well, Bitcoin could tip be kind of cool because like you got a network on like the biggest social media. But... You can also verify your NFT as a profile picture, which is kind of even more like of a cooler step in the internet because now it's kind of like verifying metaverse from like the old internet. Getting there. Um, yeah, a little step in real time. But uh, Jack doing all this Ethereum stuff, but he's on Bitcoin stick. N- yeah, he's he's uh, he's betting on Bitcoin for so. I think it's because of Square. Yeah. I think whatever he's doing with Square, he doesn't want to go towards Ethereum and just use Lightning Network that's, that Bitcoin's on. That's my theory. Because he's pretty like, like yeah, I don't, I'm only doing Bitcoin. Yeah. I, I think it just might be a fintech move. Um, but yeah, because I, 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 I recently made a Twitter account that's like just separate from everything. I'm going to try to build it up and start just talking bullshit see people yeah me too i just everybody loves i'm gonna do less like i know sensationalism stuff maybe you work that into that but everybody loves predicting stuff dude everybody loves following a big old ego on twitter and you got some confidence and and results to back it up it's even better as long as you have results the one thing i don't like about courses dude is that most of these people that are selling courses are selling courses because whatever they're doing in the courses, they haven't found enough money in the skill set to live off of besides the courses. I disagree with that. Why? Uh, I've. Are you saying just in crypto or in like anything? Anything. I disagree with that. Because uh, like, for example, there's some people that do like YouTube courses that are like, yeah, I make a million dollars a month off YouTube. I don't need to do these courses, but I do them because if I don't, someone else will do it. So I might as well, okay. you know, some people have that attitude. Maybe it's good marketing. Yeah. And also I'm like super into like, if I'm going to like pay for a course, I don't want the person to be like rich because they're selling courses. I want them to like have accomplished something like the fucking guy that wrote this book for our work week. Like he he made a couple of successful companies. 